morning. Welcome to Cardio and Core. Today we are going to be using a mat, some light to medium weight, and a barbell. Okay, you can use the weighted bar or you can use hand weight. All right. We also are going to be using a bench. If you don't have a bench, you can just use a mat on the floor. You can have a bench or a step if you want to use the so free to do that. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, and having one heavier weight. All right, let's get going. We're just going to do a little bit of marching here. We're going to lift these knees and move these arms. Just like that. Good. Starting to warm up these knees. Starting to warm up the abs. All right, we're going to lunge forward and back. So we're going to step forward and then back. Down and up. Good. Looking into the nose, out to the mouth. All right, we're going to change it up. We're going to step, then lunge, then step back. Good. Step. Down and up, and return. Nice and easy. Everything you need to step down and up. Good. Start to raise that belly. We've got one more set. All right. Now we're going to go that slow speed ladder. Okay. We've done this move before. Nice and easy. If we step out. And in. All right, we're going to speed this up. Are you ready? Here we go. Good. Moving those feet as fast as you can. All right, we're going to hold and now lunge side to side. Warming up these knees, warming up these hips. Got a great workout plan for today. Good, just keep moving. Now, we're going to add a step. So, we're going to come back to center. We're going to step and then return. Step and return. Just like that. Keeping that chest lifted. Now we're going to add a twist. I want you to reach into that side as you twist. Keep it going. Think about being light to the toes. Good. One more set. And release it. Let's bring these knees up again. Now, option you can do right here, or you can get a light rest. Moving these arms, keeping those shoulders back, chin is lifted. All right, you can be here. Now, from here, you're either going to march or do high knees. So, you can be here. You can be here. Keep it moving. All right, we're going to switch to butt kickers. So we're going to bring those heels up. You can be here for low impact, or you can be here. Good, keep it going. All right, next move, we're going to come down and do a chair squat and lift. Get those feet together and lift. Good, setting those hips back and down and lift. Four more for four, three, two, let's speed it up. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, keep going for four, three, two, back to that run. So you can be here with these knees down 
or you can be here, little calf raises. Keep it going. All right, high knees. You're here, or you're here. Lifting those knees, moving those arms. You got it. Keep it going. Let's do our butt kickers. Bring those heels back. Option, bring those hands behind. Just like this. Option, you're here. Lifting those heels. For four, three, two, chair squat, down and up for eight, seven, six, five, almost there. For four, three, two, now we speed it up for eight. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Take it out. All right, we're going to go into our cardio set. We're going to do something a little fun today. We're going to do some combat, all right? A little bit of kickboxing. So what we're going to do is our feet are going to be evenly spaced right under the shoulders, okay? We're going to bring our hands up. Our hands are in fist. We're going to bring it right to our cheekbones. Okay, right between your cheekbones and your chin. That's where you want those hands to be, okay? All right, now we're gonna punch right, left, right, left, just like this. Good, nice and easy. All right, we're gonna speed this up, here we go. Now, kickboxing is great cardio, okay? We're moving the shoulders. We're moving from side to side. Our knees are soft. We're rotating, and as we twist, we're trimming. Our hands are up. All right, we've got a little combo. Are you ready? We're gonna go four, three, two, one. Hook, hook, good. This is called a circular punch. You get that elbow up. In line with the wrist, bring it past the nose. You've got it. Hook, hook. Four, three, two, one. Hook. Two more. Four, three, two, one. Hook, hook. Last one. All right, now we've got an uppercut. We're going to drop the shoulder and then we're going to come to the left. Right? Left. Good. We're still in this front stance which means that our feet are under the shoulders. Just breathe. All right. Are you guys ready to speed this up? Of course you are. Here we go. Nice and easy. You're making a figure eight with these shoulders as you roll. You got it. All right, you remember that combo? We're going to do it. We're going to do four uppercuts and two hooks. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook. Again, four, three, two, one, hook, hook. See how I'm releasing my heel when I hook? That's going to give that knee space to move. Okay, you want to keep it in line with the toes. Last one. All right, let's run it out. Shake out those arms. We're gonna do that again, okay? We're just gonna do the combination. All right, we're gonna do eight of each, okay? You guys are gonna be pros in no time. All right, shaking out those arms, here we come. So, we're back to the four jabs, and then two hooks, eight. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook, good. All right, for this last four, let's see it up. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook, good. Four, three, two, one, hook, two more. All 
All right, uppercut. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook. Four, three, two, one, hook. Good. Two more at this pace. You guys ready to speed it up? Here we go. Four, three, two, one, hook, hook. Woo! Good cardio here. Last one. Take it out. All right, we did upper body combat. Now we're going to do some lower body work. So, this is called a Jenga. Okay, we've done this in previous videos. We're just going to take a little step. Now, I want you to notice my feet. Okay? I'm not crossing. I can see both feet all times. Okay? At all times, right? I can see them both, and I'm just moving side to side. Just breathe. Good. Keep it moving. Now, we're going to change this to a skater. So we're going to slide and lift that leg. Good. Getting these arms going. Just like a speed skater. Okay. Going down the ice. Now, you can stay right here, or you're going to speed it up. You can stay grounded. Or you can add a hop. As fast as you can go. Keep it going. Almost there for four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do that again. We're going to start back with that Jenga. So we're going to step back. Letting those arms just move side to side. Good. Think about being light on the toes. Okay? When you're a fighter, you got to be ready to move. So we're staying light through the feet. Belly is great. Good. All right. Now, for option here, you can add a little hop. Increasing that cardio work right here. Two more. All right, we're going to change it up. We're going to skate and skate. Just breathe. Good. Keeping it going. Now, let's speed it up. Side to side movement. Just like that. Good. Option. You can add a hop. Keep it going. Almost there for four, three, two, and one. Take it out, you guys. All right, we have one more set of work here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some marching forward and back, okay? Now, we're gonna take four steps forward and then four steps back. Four, three, two, heel tap. Just like that. Good. Keep it moving. I said, you need color in it. And I, and I, I. All right, we're going to change it up. We're going to add a knee lift. We're going to lift. Okay. Go ask him to help you. Close the door. Thank you. Good. Option, you can come up onto those toes as a little calf raise. All right, final option, you're going to add a hop. Big lift, big lift, good. One more. Now we're going to go side to side. We're going to do that grapevine and heel tap. Good. Two more here. Last one. All right, we're going to change it up and add that lift. Lift that knee. Good. Option, add that calf raise. Final option, add that top. Good. 
Good, just like that. Two more. Last one. And release it. Well done, you guys. Grab a drink if you need it. We're going to move into our strength section. All right, give me one second, you guys. All right. So I want you to go ahead and grab your bar. Okay, you're going to grab the bar and you're going to grab your weight. All right, so we've got a couple different things we're going to do today. First, we're going to do a progression. Okay, so if you want to grab your medium weight or light weight, okay, it's only two moves. We're going to do a bicep curl and we're going to do um, a side raise. Okay, we're going to do one and then one and then we're going to add two and two. We're going to go all the way up to eight and then we're going to work our way back down. Okay, all right, here we go. So we've got one curl, one raise, two and two. One, two, good, two, and two. Again, three, two, one, yes. Three, two, one. Think about bracing that belly. And we're isolating. Good. For four. Three. Two. Let's do five. As we curl. Okay, we're that guy, right? At the gym. Lifting. Yes. Side raise. For five. Four. See how my back is not arched. Okay. Good. Six. Just breathe. Good. For two, one, and let's lift for six. Five. Keep those knees soft for four. Three, two. We're almost at the top of that hill. We've got seven. Good. Two. One, let's lift for seven. Six, keep your elbows soft. Five, four, belly brace. Three, back and straight. Two, eight, here we go. For eight, seven, isolation. Six, the elbows really loose to the wrist. For four, three, two, let's side raise. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're going to work our way back down, seven, make sure you're breathing, okay, don't hold your breath, for three, two, and let's side raise. Seven. For three, two, six. Is feeling that in those biceps? I hope so. For three, two, one, let's lift. For six, five, four, three. Two, down to five. You can always switch out the weight. You can go lighter. So this set like this, because it's more rest, you want to go lighter than you normally would if it was just a few. We've got four and four. For three, two, let's lift. For four, three, two, we're almost there, you guys. Three, for three, 
two, one, this side, and three, two, two and two. Last set, one and one. Well done. Why don't we those weights down? Bring this right arm across. Just hold it lightly. Little shoulder stretch here. This side. Ooh. You guys feeling that? I am. Holy smoke. All right, take those thumbs behind, open that chest. Now rotate down forward. And back. Good. Feel that rotation through the shoulder and to the bicep. As we turn. Good. Release it. All right. Our next set. If you have one heavier weight, you can always just use the single leg medium, or you can go a little bit heavier. Okay? Now, I don't have a kettlebell. This is the closest thing I have. Okay? So, we're going to do some kettlebell uh, exercises. All right? So, if you have one heavier weight that you want to use, like I said, or a, um, a plate, or you can go lighter with a single weight, or you can double the weight. Okay? Lots of options here. Your goal, though, is we're isolating and we're consolidating. Maybe that's the better word. We're consolidating the weight right to the front. Okay? So we're going to take the weight out first, forward, and then we're going to come up and down. So our arms are at 90 degree angle. Okay? Shoulder is in line with the elbow. And then we bend and extend. Two more. Now, we're going to do a kettlebell swing. So we're going to come down and lift. Down. Good. We've got four more. Down and up for four. Three. Two. Now, this is called a goblet squat, or you're just going to hold that weight. Okay? You're going to squat and lift. We're not pushing the weight up, it's just staying right at chest level. So this gives you the option to really get low down into that squat. Three more. And three. Good. Two. Back to our swing. We come down and lift for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep it going. For four. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. We're going to do that again. Okay? Same set. I'm going to stay sideways so you can see my face. All right? We're going to extend out, and we're going to come up for eight, seven, six, five. Belly is great. Squeeze the glute for three, two, and one, weight to chest, bring it down and we swing for eight, seven, six, five, good, so four, three, two, goblet squat. We're going to come here, we're going to squat and lift. Now, don't forget about those abs. Or the glutes. The belly is great. You can squeeze the glutes as we lift for four, three, two. Good. Let's bring it down. And we lift for eight, seven, six, five. Almost there. For four, three, two. And one. Well done, you guys. That weight down. And so we should bend over, rounding that spine. Just breathe. Good. Inhale. Exhale, we should arch the back. Get that booty out. 
and round. And arch. One more. Round. And arch. Good. Take a breath in and release. All right, we're going to come down to the floor for some bench press. So if you have a bench or a step that you want to use, then please feel free to do that. If you do not want to come to the floor, okay, your option is going to be a deadlift, okay? So you'll just mimic the tempo and the set, okay? Let me show you first what we're going to do, okay, on the floor as a bench press. Okay, so if I'm on the floor doing well, I'll show you the deadlift first. Okay, so this is your option if you do not want to go to the floor for the bench press. Okay, you're going to do four slow. Okay, and then you're going to do a triple row. Okay, and then we're going to do eight fast. Okay, that's your set. All right, option is. When we do our push-ups, you can stand, and you can either do a chest fly if you've got your legs close, and then do a chest fly or come down and do push-ups, okay? All right, if you're on the floor with me, we're gonna come down, taking our time. All right, we're gonna do two rounds, okay, of the bench press. Then we're gonna do a set of push-ups. If you do not wanna do the push-ups, you can do a chest fly. So have some hand weights close. You can switch to the chest fly, okay? We're gonna take a breath in, lift that weight. Here we go, we're gonna come down and up to four. Three, two, one, triple pull. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift, two more. Three, two, one, lift. And we've got eight singles. Here we go, down and up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do it again. Four slow and push. Good. Now, option if you're on your feet, you can stay in that deadlift position and just do rows. All right, we got triple pulse here. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Two more. We got eight singles down and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and roll it up. Set the weight down. Now, you can switch out the weight and do chest slide or you're going to do push up. Okay? We're going to come here. We've got eight push ups and then we're going to add a lift. So, we're going to come down for eight, seven, six, five. Keep it going for four. Three, two, we're going to add on. We're going to add a renegade. We're going to come down, lift the right for eight, seven, six, five. Taking that elbow to the ceiling for four, three, two, and one. Ready? Come on back. Grab that weight. Roll on down. Set those feet, set those hands, arms come up, take a breath in. Actually, we come down for four slow. Three, two, triple pull. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, up, last one. Eight singles, we can do this. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, you guys. Let's roll it up. 
Oh, set that weight down. Grab a drink if you need. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to come to the knees. Okay. If you have that bench or a step, you can sit on the edge of that with your feet crisscrossed. Okay. Or if you have a chair, you want to grab a chair and set it down and sit on that, and you can do that as well. Have a ball close, and we're just going to do one weight. Okay. So if you're on the floor with me, then you can be seated or you're going to come up onto those knees. Okay. We really want to focus on bracing the belly and engaging the glutes. Okay. So we're going to take this weight to chest. We're going to lift it up. One tricep, come back to chest, and we're going to twist to the right, twist to the left. The center, let's do it again. So this is all core work. Okay, it might not feel like it, but these abs are engaged to keep us balanced. Whether you're sitting or you're on your knees. If you're sitting, make sure you're on the edge of the seat or the bench or the step. Okay? By sitting on the edge, you're forcing those abs to work a little harder, helping you keep your balance. We got four more. Nice. Twisting through that torso as we bring it to the right and the left. Two more. Up and over. And down. All right, from here, we're going to do a seated plank or you're on your knees. Okay, you can hold on to the weight or you can push out for the ball. Okay, we're going to extend the arm and we're just going to hold. Okay, so you're holding it here. Belly is braced, glutes are engaged, arms are long. Okay, we're staying nice and long. We're not rounding or arching that back and we're not rounding that spine. Think about being stacked from knees to hips to shoulders. Take a breath in. Exhale, we're going to twist and open to the right. Good. Back to center. You need to double up your mat for an easier uh, for the of the knees. You can do that. Take a breath in. And close switch. Good. Center. Two breaths. Good. Inhale. And close switch. And open. You can do this with a weight. Okay, adding a little bit of weight is going to increase the work in the abs. Good, come back to center. And we switch. Good, back to center. Take a breath in. Exhale, hold. Two more full breaths. Bracing that belly. Make sure those abs are engaged. Stay okay, nice and tight. Walk together. One more breath in, and open the All right, we're going to come down onto our back. Now, we're going to do a cross crawl. You can do this seated, okay, or you can do this standing. You're just going to mimic the move that we do on the floor, okay? Let's roll it down, and let's put the ball there. We've got our fingertips right to the temple. I want you to think about using the abs and the shoulders to lift the head and neck, okay? Think about being long and straight through the head and neck to the shoulders instead of rounding that neck, okay? We wanna be long as we lift. Here we go. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna add that twist, so we're gonna twist. Side to side. You can do this standing. 
okay, stand nice and tall, and a big twist to the torso. Good, for three, two, and one, bring these legs up, take a breath in, exhale, twist and cap. If you're standing, you're lifting that knee towards the chest. Good, and lift the right as you twist to the right. Lift the left as you twist to the left. Four more for four, three, good, two, and one. We're going to single out this right side. We're going to look for eight, seven, six, five. Keep it going for four, three, two, and switch for eight, seven, six, Five, good, for four, three, two, we've got a seat crunch. We're gonna reach for the ankles and half. If you're standing, bring that, come up overhead and then crunch, bringing one knee up at a time, just like this. So you can do this standing, okay? Otherwise, you're here. Tap it. Option, you can extend long for four, three, two, back to our cross crawl. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Put the feet down. Get the head and shoulders down. Good. Pull those knees to chest. Lengthen the left leg. Keep that right knee close. And stretch. A little stretch out here. Just breathe. All right, two more here. Good, so both legs in. And now put the both down. We're nice and long, okay? We're nice and long on the mat. We're gonna reach the arms over the head. And then take a breath in. Exhale, we're gonna lift the other body. And then lower. So little lift right here. Two and one. Good. Now we're going to lift the feet just one at a time. We're going to lift the right, lift the left. Good. Up and up. Just breathe. And four. Lift. Good. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and just relax here for a second. We're going to go ahead and go into our stretch. When you're ready, bend those knees. We're going to do a reverse pitch on the right side. Grab, reach the window and grab that leg. Just breathe. Thank you so good today. Remember, there are always options. If you have any questions about specific moves, go ahead and put sides or alternate moves for a specific pose, and please let me know, and I'm happy to answer that question. And release. So we're going to take this right leg up for a hamstring stretch. And grab the back of that leg and just relax. Okay, hold on to it. Good. 
Have any questions or comments, and please leave it in the comment section, and I will respond. 